Hamilton, and today we've got uh, an oldie but a goodie, which is incredibly good value these days if you can tolerate the looks, which is the Bug Eye MY01 Subaru Impreza. Now this comes in both a wagon and a sedan form, um, and this was obviously Subaru's big change from the GC8 body shell when the first model came back out obviously in 2001. It was a two litre engine um, with revised um, electronic ECU, um, catalytic converters were all different, it was basically the big shake up to the industry. Is obviously this was one of the first models that was on sale in the US and um, with this model came a lot of business and a lot of demand throughout the world but along the way there were some mistakes which um, the aftermarket tuning industry learned about and so did Subaru and one of the things is the catalytic converter in the up pipe which you can see in this photo um, was only on the 01 and the 02 models it was later deleted for reasons because when they fail they cause complete failure of the not only the catalytic converter but the turbo as well they were incredibly restrictive it was the only way Subaru could get them to master follow and pass a cold start emissions test. They also had a really troublesome temperature sensor in the up pipe which sent an ECU signal that had an effect on cold start as well which in the later models again was also deleted. So you can see in this photo is, photo is the factory fitted restrictive catalytic converter in the up pipe and then the MRT alternative replacement which has no cat and also we do a replacement up pipe sensor defender which does away with the horribly reliable uh, factory sensor and just mimics the signal for the ECU so you have reliable ECU performance. Rear um, fully adjustable white line sway bar which has been on the car probably since brand new. Fitted the heavy duty mounts which back then was quite a popular upgrade because these original factory mounts were known to break. Um, Originally this client fitted it with the original factory plastic ones which you can see in the photo here and as we today replaced them with the, the gold aluminium ones which are a lot more durable and they don't stretch and squash when the sway bar works. So this client will notice an improvement in handling straight away because the sway bar works a lot more efficiently. efficiently. From the inside here you can see it's got the MRT stainless steel braided brake lines for improving the braking performance of the car. We fitted teen fully adjustable coilover struts because the original factory struts were just well past their use by date. I think this car's got about 150,000 k's on it. Typically a set of struts factory fitted only last about 80,000, 100,000 k's at the most and are often overlooked. Um, Moving forward, obviously the redesign of this particular car, you can actually get replacement rear lower control arms, this client hasn't fitted it, and also you can get a bolt that fits in through here to stop the rear diff moving around under heavy cornering if you want a little quick way of improving the performance of your um, early model Subaru. Um, we'll move up to the front, we haven't put the large um, crash bar back in place yet but you can see that leaning up against the wall over there which our mechanics haven't refitted but on this particular model when you fit the anti-lift kit because the arm is spaced down you need to put these aluminium spaces in when you put that lower crash bar back in place. That crash bar is mainly there from a frontal impact point of view it only marginally stiffens the front end of the car. The anti-lift kit obviously replaces the original bushes on this car which are a hydraulic oil filled bush and has failed. I recommend you have a look at that on your car. You can see the original factory bush in this picture how um, it has changed from the new replacement part. The good point about this is lasts forever and also improves the front end geometry of the car to give you better handling as well. And of course up around the front here you can see, if I get my camera to spin around, original front sway bar fitted by white line back in those days it had they were all painted blue and of course the front sway bar links were also fitted in those days as well which again replaced the original factory links which tend to squash and stretch under cornering um, you can see here how we fitted a front roll center kit so it's got new ball joints and tie rod ends this particular car the tie rod ends and ball joints were past their use by now, so it makes sense to refit them with a performance part from a maintenance point of view but also we give a mechanical improvement in handling as well um, from the underside here you can see it's got a nice bright yellow uh, not yellow bright pink sdi oil filter which is a little bit more expensive than the subaru factory filter but obviously a hell of a lot better um, filtering ability for the engine and on this particular car it may seem like a bit of an overkill but as these engines start to get a little bit tired you want all the best filtering you can get to get all the junk and rubbish out of the engine that is collected over a period of time. Um, 
Typically on this car, also, you're, you'll note being a wagon, it's got different front lower control arms, it's got the steel arms. Some of the cars on the sedans and the STIs have aluminium front arms. And also there's a whole range of other components that you can improve. Obviously it's got the five-speed transmission. Um, in this particular car, if we go right around the front, it's got one of the very early front mount intercoolers with a silicon pipe kit that fits and still maintains the original factory front fog lights. Um, this is one of our kits that we fitted a very, very long time ago. Um, these days the trend has gone away from front mounts into top mounts because of the technology we're tuning the factory ECU with Ecutec, we can get really good, popular and reliable upgrades without going to a front mount. And typically we wouldn't recommend a front mount on this car unless it was pushing big horsepower with a major size turbo. This particular car now is running a STI VF series replacement turbo. The old TDA4 has passed its use-by date. The good thing about that is it fits with the original factory inlet and outlet on the hot side pipe and of course all the components to fit with the front mount intercooler. So what we'll do now is we'll go up top and show you more, a few more bits from there. With the front mount intercooler I want to point out that you actually have to do a replacement to the factory standard airbox because it's very difficult these days to fit the front mount intercooler and maintain the original factory airbox as you can see it's pipe work that comes through necessitates that so on this particular kit we run a remote pipe mounted filter um, it's also got a gfb response fully adjustable blow valve earlier on those days it was called a deceptive probe um, so it's running externally venting and internally venting this particular one was the early r d model which was non-adjustable the later models now you can adjust the variation between internally and externally venting um, some new parts that we've just fitted is the brake support bracket to improve the braking efficiency and reduce the bending of the firewall when you're pushing on your brake pedal because this brake support bracket supports the end of the master cylinder. But one particular thing I'll show you, we fitted the Tyne fully adjustable strut tops. Now you'll notice it actually says left on the right and right on the left, but I'll let you into a little trick of what we do here at MRT. We work on the theory when we're obviously doing a lot of R&D with white line, we work on the saying caster is king. Caster is more important than static negative camber. And by swapping the strut tops around on some of these aftermarket coilover kits, you can end up by locating this adjuster back further while still having the ability to adjust camber, but you gain a massive amount of caster by just simply thinking about the way the parts are fitted. So there's a little bit of a tip. If you want to improve the strut tops in your car and you've got these kit fitted, um, they're not fitted wrong, they're actually fitted correctly for a small way of improving the front end geometry of your car. Um, you'll also see in this picture we've fitted DBA front and rear slotted brake rotors, MRT sports pads, done a full major service on the car with health racing brake fluid, gearbox oil diff, new timing belt. It's got the alloy front crankshaft pulley. Um, this particular model had a variation on the um, alternator and power steering pulley which what did not allow that to be replaced because the pulley couldn't be removed but that's pretty much a good idea of what this car is capable of you can see in our dyno graphs here just what you can achieve with this being our xb kit plus a bit with the modified turbo on the front mount um, probably call it an xc kit but you gotta remember on this particular car if you're upgrading it there is still a theoretical limit on the internal reliability of the engine what you can get Remember that top, the uh, up pipe to the turbo from a reliability point of view, and also making sure that you think about the way the car is serviced. So you can see by this particular picture, all the individual parts have been fitted. Uh, front and rear struts, adjustable strut tops, brake support bracket, the front mount, the new components, anti-lift kit, rear sway bar links, brakes, and so on. So of course, for more information to help you understand more about your Subaru, um, make some comments here on video, on YouTube, Facebook or Flickr, depending on where you're watching it. Go to our website, use the new online shop for the drop down menus where you can punch in your model and get a huge list of parts that will suit your car. Of course, pick up the phone, send us an email. At the end of the day, we want to help you learn more about your Subaru and also Mazda and Mitsubishi. For today, with my croaky voice, I'm Brett Middleton. Thanks for watching.